In today's repair guide, we'll be teaching you how to fix your Electrolux dishwasher. This guide includes error codes, troubleshooting, and repair tips. For more information, check out our website. There's a link in the description. Enjoy the video. If you're looking for help fixing your Electrolux dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Electrolux dishwasher error code guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. Code. ER01. Problem. Water leak detected. Fix. A sensor under the dishwasher detected a leak. Shut off power to the dishwasher. Inspect all hoses, pumps, and the tub to find the leak. Replace the leaking parts. Code. ER02. Problem. Thermistor. Turbidity sensor failure. Fix. Shut off power to the dishwasher and check the wiring for the thermistor. Turbidity sensor circuit. If the wiring is okay, replace the thermistor. Turbidity sensor. Code. ER03. Problem. Wash motor failure. Fix. Shut off power to the dishwasher and then check the wiring for the wash motor. If the wiring is okay, check for an obstruction in the pump. Replace the wash motor if the pump is clear and the wiring is okay. Code. ER04 or ER05. Problem. Upper fan. Vent failure. Fix. Shut off power to the dishwasher and check the wiring for the upper fan. Vent. If the wiring is okay, replace the upper fan. Vent. Code. ER06. Problem. Lower fan failure. Fix. Shut off power to the dishwasher and check the wiring for the lower fan. If the wiring is okay, replace the lower fan. Code. ER07 or ER11. Problem. Drain valve failure. Fix. Shut off power to the dishwasher and check the wiring for the drain valve. If the wiring is okay, replace the drain valve. Code. ER08. Problem. User interface control failure. Fix. A switch on the user interface is defective. Replace the user interface. Code. ER09. Problem. Communication failure between the user interface control and the electronic control board. Fix. Shut off power to the dishwasher and check for loose wire connections between the user interface control and the electronic control board. If the wires and connections are intact, replace the user interface control. If the problem continues, replace the electronic control board. Code. ER10. Problem. Electronic control board relay failure. Fix. A relay on the electronic control board failed. Replace the electronic control board. Code. ER12. Problem. Drain valve position error. Fix. The drain valve is activated when it should be off. Shut off power to the dishwasher. Check the drain valve wiring for a short. If the wiring is okay, replace the electronic control board because the drain valve relay likely is stuck. If the problem continues, replace the drain valve. Code. ER13. Problem. Electronic control board failure. Fix. The electronic controlled board has an internal component failure. Replace the electronic control board. If you're looking for help fixing your Electrolux dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Electrolux dishwasher troubleshooting guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and show you how to read your model's error codes. The reasons for the breakdown of the Electrolux dishwasher. Malfunctions of the dishwasher released under the Electrolux brand are rarely caused by factory defects. Although this probability cannot be discarded, but more often the users themselves are guilty of the occurrence of failures violation of the rules of installation and operation. Also, independent factors and force majeure can occur. Let's consider the frequent reasons for the failure of these dishwashers blockages of the drain or filling valves can be the culprits of the fact that the dishwasher is broken. The dishwasher does not work or does not heat water because of a power surge. Failures can occur due to weak electricians. Poor wiring is the problem of the dishwashers of this brand. Moreover, everything can be proper during manufacturing bun contacts. And wires are burnt out when the kitchen appliance is used. Problems with the efficiency of the washing process can be caused by improper installation. User intervention children bent the hose. Violation of the operation rules washing two dirty dishes. Using non-professional household chemicals. Etc. Electrolux dishwashers are equipped with a modern self-diagnosis system for breakdowns. It helps users to understand what does the breakdown mean. Having found the problem, the device signals it to the user. Displaying error codes on the screens. Having deciphered a problem and understood what caused it. You can start repairing independently or with the help of a master. How to repair a dishwasher. We will not consider all cases of the dishwasher's malfunctions as there can be dozens of them. 
Let's analyze how to eliminate the typical failures blockage of the drain or filler system. Problems with water heating. Failure to execute the specified program. Poor quality of washing. The drain or filler path was blocked. This breakdown can be attributed to the system ones. As it is typical not only for the Electrolux devices. The degree of filling with dirty nozzles, hoses, and filters depends on the quality of the water that is supplied from the water pipe. The worse the water, the faster the clogging. If there are too many minerals in your water supply system, they will quickly build up the filter from the inside, because of which it will be suddenly clogged. In this case, it will not be difficult to repair the dishwasher, even if you decide to act on your own. Important. To avoid the recurrence of this failure, do not forget to remove the filter from time to time and clean it from the coating. If the water is too hard, treat the machine as attentive as possible. Check all the elements of the jellied system including filters, nozzles, and hose. It should be done the next way. Shut off the flow of water into the system by closing the tap T. Unscrew the water intake hose together with the filter from the tap T and from the dishwasher case. Get a small flow filter located at the point of twisting the hose with the case of equipment. Wash filters and a hose if it's difficult. Use a special brush and set back. Important. If you use different water softeners, then in this case, they are inefficient, since they protect only internal parts, and not applied to the filters and hoses. Speaking about the garbage filter, its clogs are more frequent as well as the hose and drainage pipe ones. Specialists recommend cleaning it at least twice a month. With an intensive operation of the appliance, do it every four weeks. The ways of the problem's prevention are described in detail in the instructions to your dishwasher model. In short, the rules are as follows before you load the dishes. The food leftovers have to be removed. Household chemicals should be selected carefully. Focusing on means from leading brands. It is necessary to control the level of regenerating salt. After each use, inspect the filters and clean them if necessary. To the note, you can clean the remaining parts of the drain system using special tools. Choose the right composition. Fill it with a machine. Run a single sink and the clogs will disappear. If it does not help, you need a disassembly that can be done by a professional. Problems of water heating. Malfunctions in which water is not heated. Relate to the heater, sensors, and even the control board. Electrolux dishwasher is a vulnerable technique. Sensitive to power surges. If you do not have an automatic and stabilizer installed. The dishwasher can easily fall victim to another low or high voltage. In the most positive perspective, only the fuse will suffer. And if it does not, the tree axe on the control unit may burn. To repair such breakdown, you need make a partial disassembly of the case. Check the heater, its contacts, and wiring. Check the serviceability of the module. Find the faulty element, and replace it with a similar one solder the board. We recommend you instruct the diagnostician and all repairs to a qualified master. Especially if you see an ohmmeter and wiring diagram for the first time. Doing this independently can turn bad. So do not risk expensive equipment. The specified program does not execute. If the dishwasher stops during washing, do not worry. This is a common occasion. In 50% of cases, reboot helps. Do this unplug the appliance from the mains. Wait 10-15 seconds can be more. Start the dishwasher. If the program fails not for the first time, and this is a systematic phenomenon, the factory malfunction of the electronic board is not excluded. The module often costs half of the dishwasher itself. So we do not recommend dismantling it by yourself. Especially if the warranty period has not expired yet. Do not panic. The case described above is a rarity. The dishwasher can fail because of other reasons that are mainly not complicated to fix. Malfunction of aqua sensor. Malfunctions of the pressure switch. Breakdown of other senses. The instability of the electrical network can also be the reason for the occurrence of such problems. Therefore, before dismantling the dishwasher, we advise you to deal with electricity in the house. Poor washing quality. If the Electrolux washing machine does not cope with its target and badly washes dishes, then this can occur for several reasons. Typically, Dishwashers begin to wash badly if water or a dishwashing detergent hardly gets into the system. To make sure that the mean is okay, look into the cuvette. If there is a tablet left in it or a part of the powder, then the supply system has failed. When washing proceeds without water or water is supplied in insufficient volume. This fact is also easy to establish. In this case, the machine will report an error using the code on the display. 
or at the end of the program. Dry and dirty dishes will be waiting for you. Check the following nodes whether there is water in the water supply network. Check hose and filters, which are located in the water intake system. For clogging, the filling valve for serviceability. A valve regulating the supply of detergents for serviceability. Correct loading of washing facilities in the dishwasher. Unusual noise. Humming sound right after running. In the dishwasher, the washing program always starts with a pumping cycle, during which noise is generated when the pump is running. This is not a cause for concern. Loud noise or banging. Such sounds are created when the detergent dispenser is opened. This is not a cause for concern. Squeaking sound during water pumping. To eliminate the problem, add a little detergent to the dispenser to lubricate the pumping mechanism. Rustling sound during the drying phase. This may indicate a malfunction of the drying fan. Such problems should be solved by an expert. To agree on a visit, contact an authorized service center. Discoloration of baskets or sprinklers. Tomato sauces and sauces for pasta can leave a red coating on the dishes and the parts of the device. This coating can be easily removed with a special detergent. Terracotta objects can leave brown marks on another dish in the equipment. If the above-mentioned recommendations do not solve the problem, contact an authorized service center. The dishwasher does not heat water. Resetting the device's settings can help solve this problem. Unplug the dishwasher from the main socket. Wait one minute and plug it in again. It is also possible to disconnect the appliance from the mains using fuses in the switchboard. Switch. When pulling out the device and then reinstalling it. It is important to make sure that the hoses are not pinched or jammed. And the water tap is fully open. Turn on the dishwasher. Select the program and start it. If the program is started and the appliance is working properly, the problem is solved. If you're looking for help fixing your Electrolux dishwasher, look no further. Our comprehensive Electrolux dishwasher repair guide will explain common issues, provide tips, and maybe show you how to repair your appliance. For the home, kitchen, and beyond, Electrolux manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Electrolux appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Electrolux dishwasher not cleaning. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the valve is clogged or defective, the dishwasher won't get enough water to clean dishes properly. If the water inlet valve is clogged, replace it. Do not attempt to clean the water inlet valve. Cleaning the valve could make it more likely to fail. Electrolux dishwasher not draining. Drain impeller. The drain impeller pushes water through the drain hose and into the garbage disposer or drain line. If the impeller is broken, replace it. Electrolux dishwasher buttons not working. Touchpad. First, confirm that the dishwasher display is working. If the display is still working, try pressing some of the touchpad buttons. If some of the buttons respond correctly but others don't, it is likely that the touchpad is at fault. Some manufacturers sell the touchpad separately from the control panel. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the touchpad and control panel together. If you cannot replace the touchpad individually, replace the touchpad and control panel. Electrolux dishwasher lights flashing or blinking. Heating element. The heating element heats up the water to operating temperature. If the water doesn't reach the proper temperature after a set amount of time, a light on the control panel might start flashing. To determine if the heating element has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the heating element does not have continuity, replace it. Electrolux dishwasher leaking. Water inlet valve. The water inlet valve opens to allow water to enter the dishwasher. If the water inlet valve is stuck open, the dishwasher will continue to fill with water until the dishwasher leaks or overflows. If the water inlet valve is at fault, replace it. Water inlet valves are not repairable. If the valve is defective, you must replace it. Electrolux dishwasher leaking from motor area. Impeller and seal kit. First, try to determine the source of the leak. If the water is leaking from the motor shaft area, the motor shaft seal is likely defective. If the seal is defective, replace it. Some manufacturers sell the seal independently of the impeller. Other manufacturers require that you purchase the impeller and seal together. Still, other manufacturers require that you purchase the entire pump and motor assembly instead of the impeller and seal. It is usually more cost-effective to replace the impeller and seal kit rather than the pump and motor assembly. Electrolux dishwasher won't start. Door switch. 
the door switch prevents the dishwasher from running while the door is open. If the door switch is defective, the switch will prevent the dishwasher from running even when the door is closed. To determine if the door switch is at fault, use a multimeter to test the switch for continuity. If the switch does not have continuity, replace it. Electrolux dishwasher won't latch. Door hinge. If the door hinges are damaged, the door won't be able to latch properly. Inspect the door hinges for damage. If a hinge is bent or broken, replace it. Electrolux dishwasher dispenser not dispensing soap. Buy metal. The buy metal actuator is a metal loop that acts as a latch for the dispenser door. As electricity is applied to the buy metal, it deforms and bends away from the latch, releasing it. If the buy metal is burned out, it won't release the dispenser door. To determine if the buy metal has burned out, use a multimeter to test it for continuity. If the buy metal does not have continuity, replace it. In addition, make sure that the dishwasher is getting enough water. If the water level is too low, the wash motor may not draw enough current through the bimetal, causing the bimetal not to bend enough to work properly. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. And stay tuned for more repair guides.